Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. I understand you've just sat down on Alderaan. The political situation on Alderaan is highly complicated. The world's ruling families are mired in a civil war for control of the planet. House Organa supports the Republic, so they're our primary ally. Your mission against the Havoc Traders is priority one, but try to aid the Organas where you can as well. I'll do everything I can. The Empire supports House Organa's rival, House Thule. Thule was banished from Alderaan, but with the Empire's support, they've returned to make an attempt for control of the planet. How much support is Thule actually getting from the Empire? Quite a bit. Intelligence reports indicate that Imperial troops operate openly on Thule's behalf all over Alderaan. Now, your primary mission. Your target is Gearbox. A captured Thule nobleman has revealed his presence to our House Organa allies. Apparently, Gearbox is aiding House Thule and the Empire in their effort to take control of Alderaan, though we don't yet know the full nature of that assistance. Whatever Gearbox is up to, I'll put a stop to it. You should speak to the Thule nobleman that House Organa captured, and see if you can get more information from him. The Thule prisoner is being held in isolation at House Organa's estate. I left strict instructions that no one interact with him further until you arrive. Are there any limitations on questioning the prisoner? I leave that to your discretion, Lieutenant. But this man is currently our only link to Gearbox. We wouldn't want to waste that. The overseer at Organa's detention center is a man named Balak Cormac, a captain in their house military. He will be your primary contact. That's it, Lieutenant. Question the prisoner, determine Gearbox's whereabouts, and neutralize him. Understood? I'll be done in no time. Good luck, Lieutenant. Garza out. Sir, I found our first potential target for the Morale Improvement Initiative. An Imperial propagandist known as the Ambassador. I've collected a sample of his lies for your review. Friends, the Ambassador would have you know that you needn't live in fear. You needn't bow to men who are your inferiors. In the Empire, you can live a life of purpose and accomplishment, where only those most fit to rule guide our society. A life of greatness. Give me our intel on this guy. The SIS has found no concrete data. He effectively has no personal history before becoming the Ambassador. Clearly an Imperial cover-up. These spurious recordings are broadcast all over the galaxy, filling people with doubts about our noble cause. The Ambassador is the public face of our enemy. Removing him will boost Republic troops' morale and combat effectiveness. As soon as you locate the Ambassador, let me know. You'll be the first person I notify, sir. Excuse me. Please, I have an urgent call from Organa Palace. Stay calm. Tell me what's going on. I'm only the messenger. You'll have to talk to him. Havoc Squad is prepped and armed, sir. What's the mission? You can explain it all later. Where do you want me? You've got to stop the Thule squads before they turn this place into a crater. I can stop them. Can you tell me any more? I saw some of the Thule soldiers on my way here. I don't know anything else. Don't let them blow us up.
on nil, sir. Hold up a minute, friend. The detention area is restricted. I'm going to need to see some identification before you come in here. You must be Captain Cormac. General Garza sent me. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you. We, uh... Well, your general told us someone was coming, but he didn't say who. You'll be wanting to talk to our esteemed guest from House Thule, won't you? He's a tough one. We worked him over a dozen times, and he still won't talk. Your orders were to keep the prisoner in isolation, Captain. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, we kept him away from all the other prisoners, kept anyone outside from talking to him, sure. But we... well, I mean, we wanted to be sure the man wasn't wasting your time with some made-up story. General Garza will be informed of what you've done. I apologize and take full responsibility, Lieutenant, sir. Please tell General Garza that we were only trying to help. So, uh, going back to the prisoner, sir, his, his name is Marcus Thule. Our boys caught old Marcus sneaking into the castle with a dozen Imperial commandos, set on cutting the head of House Organa into Throntabate. If you captured any Imperials, I'll need to speak with them as well. I'm afraid there aren't any, Lieutenant. They all went down during the fight. Took a lot of our boys with them, too. Anyways, as soon as we got the shock cuffs on him, Marcus starts in on the gearbox stuff. Critical intelligence, Republic Special Forces will want to know, that sort of thing. That's when we called your people. I should speak with the prisoner at once. Absolutely, sir. Sorry to have held you up so long. Marcus is in holding cell 5, Lieutenant. I've set the security door to grant you access, whenever you're ready. So, a visitor. Welcome. I am Marcus and Darius Thule. Your aspect and equipment are not those of House Organa. Whom do you represent? I'm with Republic Special Forces. Just as I'd hoped. We have much to discuss. I can tell you all about Gearbox, the Empire, and their activities. But before I help you, you must help me. I want protection for my wife and daughter. I'm not sure I understand. My wife and daughter. They still live amongst my house. 
and amongst the Imperials. If I tell you what I know, they will suffer for that betrayal. I won't allow this. So until my family is safe, I can tell you nothing. Lead me to Gearbox and I'll do whatever you want. If I tell you where he is now, you could simply deal with him and leave, gaining me nothing. Perhaps a compromise. I tell you part of what I know to prove the veracity of my claims. If you find that my intelligence is accurate, you help my family. After which, I will tell you exactly how to locate Gearbox. Let's hear this intel of yours. Among other projects, Gearbox has helped construct a hidden, highly sophisticated missile battery capable of eradicating any Organa force that approaches Thule territory. Destroying this missile battery would greatly benefit your Organa allies and prove how accurate my information is. All you need do for the rest is protect my wife and daughter. You better not be wasting my time. I'm not. You'll see. Farewell. I gotta say, Lieutenant, you're something else. Until you showed up, Marcus had barely spouted 20 words at us. Don't know about this business with Marcus's wife and daughter, though. The boys upstairs may not approve of cutting deals with this guy. Saving the family is the only way to get Marcus's intel. Well, then it's probably best if we don't call any attention to ourselves. So what about Marcus's story? All of this missile launcher business. You think he's telling the truth? It's hard to say. But there's no choice but to investigate. Suppose so, sir. Never thought I'd say this about a fool, But I think I actually believe the guy. Well, good luck out there, friend. Who knows? Maybe you'll find some clues about this gearbox guy. I'll keep an eye on Marcus while you're gone. You smell like sweat and bradium. <laughs> the smell of hard work. You will brief him here, General. I am Duke Charles Organa, Lord of House Organa, and heir to the Chalcedoni Star. I bid you welcome. My Lord Duke, it's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Organa's people sleep better because of you. Not many people hope for peace anymore. Then the obligation falls to us. Manuk Marakanaja, Ki Namabam, Yak Manala. If Thule defeats us, the other houses will fall, and Thule will help the Empire spread darkness across the galaxy. I know you came to Alderaan for other reasons, but I need individuals of skill and valor to beat back this evil. Help us. Havoc Squad has an objective already. Your orders, General? The Thule army is led by Baron Jarkus Thule, one of the house heirs, and their best duelist. They call him the Wolf Baron. He's after the Spears of Organa. He plans to turn our own weapons against us. What are these Spears? The Spears are ancient defense turrets built into the bedrock. Not up to modern specifications, still more powerful than any walker. Perhaps. But Thule isn't expecting Havoc Squad. Take back those turrets however you can, before they destroy us all.
House Organa's given us their full support. We can't ask for more than that. For a world that isn't sure about the Republic? I'll be sure to pass that along.
The spears of Organa are back in our hands. My grandfather would be proud. I will not leave my troops behind, General. Do not suggest it. Havoc Squad has my personal thanks. We will feast tonight and ready ourselves for the next battle. No time to rest while the enemy's out there. I'll stick with rations, sir. I see. A word of advice? Armies are not inspired by a grim-faced commander. Show spirit and a lust for life and... My lord, there's a call coming in on your secure channel. Thank you, Haley. Put it through, General. It's been a long time, my lord duke. Who are your friends? Never mind. If they wish to speak to the Wolf Baron of House Thule, they'll do so themselves. You ordered the land bombed and the turrets captured. I did, yes. You may have retaken the Spears of Organa, but they served my purpose, scattering your people and sending them straight into my hands. What are you saying, Baron? I'm saying that House Thule has taken 300 Organa citizens captive. I thought you'd want to know. Threatening civilians is not going to save you. You don't even know me, and you've judged me already. How unkind. I'd like to meet in person to civilly discuss the fate of my prisoners. I'm sending a time and coordinates now. Now, in the meantime, your people will be treated well. The incident with your son-in-law will not be repeated. Damn him! Damn his eyes! I'm not a fool, but a ruler who cannot protect his people is no ruler at all. I have to go. I'm not afraid of the Wolf Baron. Allow me to handle this. You are Organa's best hope, but you will not go alone. Lead the way and I will follow. Sweep aside the Wolf Baron's black guard, his assassins. He wants to meet. Let us meet on even terms. We'll rescue those people, and House Thule will fall. So it shall be. Thank you, General. And you, I pronounce you a paladin of House Organa, my beacon in the dark. It is your valor I salute, your word I believe. Clear the path, my friend, and let us look evil in the eye. I haven't seen this technology on the battlefield. Ne umpi bedwana ni bobo chopa uma. Ja koga huta pawada o bamba ula. Noi kuchusu yo mata chi pompota. How will you accomplish that? Kupa tom ti tok makitugi. Can you give me any more intel on this area? Chobod yi kafu anchawa. Et an atu boke go bagne.
Engaging hostile.
Impressive. The Sith keep insisting we shouldn't take Republic forces lightly. Now I see why. I am Baron Jarkus Thule, better known as the Wolf Baron. Is the Duke on his way, or did the old man send you in his place? Organa is on his way. Don't worry about that. Excellent. In the meantime, I have a show for you. Heronos? My name is Brad Son. I am an 8th generation subject of House Organa. My family, along with many others, was captured by House Thule. They're treating us well. Baron, what have you done with my people? Keep your duke on a leash, please. The prisoners are in a very precarious situation. I'm only gonna tell you once. Free the captives. Now. I have 348 prisoners. I'm willing to make a trade. I'll do it, Baron. House Organa isn't going to fall without me. Ha! No! I want your friend. He will become my prisoner in exchange for the hostages. What do you want me for? You're more useful to House Organa than the Duke. If I can take you out of commission before the next battle, why not? You can rest happily in our jails until the Republic ransoms you back, or you can have 300 deaths on your conscience. I'll turn myself in. Let the hostages go. You will not be forgotten. I swear it. Use the gas. Keep him incapacitated until the transport is ready. No movement for hours. We're secure. What's that? By the entrance. Attack! Destroy the Thule invaders and free the prisoner! Are you hurt? We came for you as soon as we heard what happened. They had me sedated. But they didn't hurt me. Myself and the others, the Wolf Baron, freed us when you turned yourself in. Our first duty was to rescue you. But the Thule army is on the march again. We need your help. General! What's House Thule up to now? We're used to fighting blasters, not the Force. Havoc Squad is ready to move out. Go, save our house the way you saved us. hostile.
Charging hostile. Trial ban weapons. Those Thule soldiers are empty handed now. What a botinya nucha nubota. Taiboka dunka wona wanga. Enter, Lieutenant, and stand before me. General Kashim reports that the Sith have been defeated. The Thule forces are scattered. Our troops are containing the enemy along the coast. For this alone, your names will be recorded in the histories of House Organa. This is a victory. That's good news. Bring in the prisoner. I will not beg. My allies will come for me. You risked your life to save my people from this man's treachery. I put his fate in your hands. He could have killed me, but he didn't. Make sure he's not harmed. I am glad to see there is honor left on this world. You choose wisely. Take him away. 
manalang yang perlu amka kalami na yakira lebua my friend i ask you to act in house organa's name as you travel this world will you represent our cause i'm honored my lord i'll do anything i can once again i am grateful you will always be welcome here and the day will come when alderaan sees peace until then feast celebrate and hope we live to see a kinder age select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Can this wait, N.O.? I've got seven bioscans left. Patrols report a 50% increase in blaster malfunctions. Okay, set up a meeting with the staff sergeant. And blast it, tell me when guests are here. Acknowledged. Science Commander Kekana Herot, Regional Supervisor for the House Organa Garrison. Glad you made it. I don't think I'm familiar with that title, sir. Look, I come from a research background, but I earned this command, even if I don't like it. Saw the report on how you handled the Wolf Baron and House Thule. Hoped you could help us out here, too. This area used to be a staging point against House Ulgo. Usurper General calls himself King of Alderaan, but Ulgo outplayed us. You said the Ulgo leader calls himself King? King Boris Ulgo. He's held off Organa and Thule on his own. Military power and dirty tricks. Alderaan has a native species called the Killix. Insects. Hive mind. Semi-intelligent. House Ulgo turned them against us. The bugs swarm, rip apart walkers, whole battalions. Is Ulgo controlling the bugs somehow? That's what I'd like to know. I was drafted as science commander to find the Killick's weakness, but I need a task force to get inside enemy territory. If you can capture a living specimen, I can learn how Ulgo makes the nests attack and stop all this at once. If you've got a strategy, lay it out. Killick's can... Absorb prisoners into their hive mind. The victims are called joiners. You'd need to assault Killick territory, subdue a joiner under fire, and bring him here for interrogation. This tranquilizer will keep him docile. All right, let's move. Hey, we're losing this fight. If we don't solve the Killick problem soon, this place will be overrun. You're our best hope, and there'll be no second chance. Finally. I knew the Republic wouldn't abandon their allies. Alec Tural of House Tural. We have an enclave not far from here. Peaceful, secluded. It's a place of study. Then the Killix found us. Came crawling in the doors, the windows, the walls. The enclave was destroyed. I didn't know the Killix preyed on noble houses. They're scavengers. Disgusting bugs taking advantage of Alderaan's troubles. Our only defense was a few insecticide mines, but there was no warning, no time to activate them. Bryn, our groundskeeper, tried to distract them anyway. The Killix. Well, there's not much left of him now. Why would they come after survivors like you? They have what they wanted, probably nesting in our beds, laying eggs in the dining hall. 
We can't abandon House Tarar. We have to salvage what we can before the Kilix or the Empire get to it. We're not soldiers. Those insecticide mines are our only weapon, and they're sitting dormant back at the Enclave with those bugs. Consider it done. The insecticide mines shouldn't be hard to activate. Once they're online, we'll have a chance. But do be careful. Those bugs don't understand surrender.
Forward battery. This is primary. I've got some fresh ballistic data for the MR3s you've got loaded down there. That's him, isn't it, sir? Former Lieutenant Bex Kolos. Gearbox. Been studying your personnel files, haven't you? Affirmative, sir. I thought it best to learn what I could about our targets in advance. We've been doing some testing for Project B and worked out new results for your range wrecks. You want to nudge those MR3s a good 0.053 degrees positive lateral to get clean hits on Zone 3. Anyhow, stay sharp out there, kids. Maybe once Project B is complete, we'll have you over for a little demonstration. Primary out. Project B. Does the term have any significance for you, Lieutenant? Do you know what he's talking about? No ideas here, Sergeant. Perhaps Marcus Thor would know more. We should question him further. I'll follow your lead, sir.
Right away, sir. You got one? Fantastic. Containment protocols, Anno. What have you done to us? We've strayed from the nest. Good. If he can talk, he can tell us why the Killicks are attacking, and how House Ulgo is controlling them. We need to ask you a few questions. You understand? We remember when we lived among you. Before joining the kind, there was only isolation. I'm going to run some scans. Hey. Tell us, why the aggression? Is Olgo supplying you? Scaring you? There is such pain now. The song of the universe is disrupted. The warriors are angry, and we swarm. I don't understand. You say there's pain. We feel the agony. Your species is responsible. We must swarm. There's a lot of neural activity. He is hurting. Must be his connection to the hive mind. Not sure why. Your people drag us to your pain factory beneath the mountains. You must be dissected and absorbed. Where are Killix being taken? The tunnels. So close. We can sense them now. Eno, take him to a cell. When we come, you will join with us. We have our answer. Ulgo is torturing Killix on our land, driving them against us. Take out the Ulgo pain factory, and you free up almost all our troops. Suppose you're right. What's our next step? There's a cave system nearby. Olgo troop levels are high. 
And we've spotted Killix, too. Place is a death trap. No one gets near it. It's got to be the pain factory. If you get inside, destroy the Ulgo forces and contact me. Let's stop that swarm. Your insecticide mines are online. The Killick should clear out soon. You have no idea what this means to us. The thought of their talons on our prized heirlooms. We'll get word to the main house. Hopefully they can send some reinforcements. I thank you for this. Chobat e cuffs to an dile ji hulo kuta. Kupa vutak. Chaskruni do pat kurira do kanki kung. Who is responsible for this? Chonki faguta, chiho poda ji oto vokise. Che chopa kuma ni umpi but malia bedwana ni bobo. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo. Da biska ku paliya. I can handle it. Chikos pa ini kudad ijigliska chanagawa. Hostile.
Huh? Republic forces, alert base and assume battle positions. Retarget the torture droids. Release the Killix if you have to. We can take the enemy's very best. Surrender your weapons, and you and your men can leave in peace. I've won a dozen battles for the King himself. I can win against Republic dogs. For House Ugo! For the Crown! If it isn't my favorite strike team, tell me you found the Ulgo Pain Factory. They've got quite a setup. Looks like the Ulgos were here a while. Ulgo's going to have a hard time riling up the Killix now. Gives us breathing room. Of course, it'd be a shame to let all that tech go to waste. But Ulgo learned a few things about the bugs. The Killix are living creatures. There's nothing to learn from this sort of brutality. The Killix are animals. Smart, but not that smart. I might be able to replicate the Ulgo experiments, bring the Killix onto our side. See if you can salvage the data and equipment. Sorry, but I can't let someone else torture a sentient life form. You don't think of anyone but yourself. Fine. You should get out of there. Meet me at the command post for a debrief.
Kevin Kovic. Kinam Kevnam. The strike team destroyed the Olgo facility. Killick attacks have fallen by 40% already. It seems putting you in charge was the right decision after all. Thank you, sir. And this must be your strike team. Always a pleasure to see you. It's been too long already. Manalang yang perlu. Am kakalami na yakinan lebua. But then... Then we strike at House Ulgo itself. Thanks to all of you. I know we had our differences, but I'm willing to bury them. I've got battle plans to draw and a lot of Stimcalf to drink. I hope everything goes well. Be careful. You too. This war's no good for any of us, and it's a long way from over. Chatungi ma chechu i kutsig nang kihe. Kuchusa yo mata chitoya asubwi mota uipa. Se gota do muti kihasa da punyo. Liz di woto. Captain Cormac, I really don't believe I can make myself much clearer than... Lieutenant, welcome back, sir. How did your mission go? You know, destroying that giant missile battery that threatened our house, sir? The battery was destroyed successfully, Captain. Well, congratulations. I'd say House Organa really owes you one for taking care of such a dangerous threat. <clears throat> yes. Allow me to extend the fondest gratitude of our noble House of Organa for your heroic assistance, Lieutenant. I am Palos Theseus Organa, first nephew to His Highness the Great Duke of Organa. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. It's good to meet you too, sir. Uh, yes. Well, indeed. I am told that you have spent some time in the company of a prisoner detained herein, one Marcus Thule. This man is of no small consequence to our house, as you may well be aware. What is your interest in him? Unfortunately, I can't discuss the details of my mission. Surely you're joking. Lieutenant, I'm certain you would agree that my family has a right to know what transpires in our home. Marcus Thule is telling you secrets which I deeply suspect he would not do without promise of recompense. I help him, he helps me. That's how these situations go. I see. It is as I suspected, then. Well... I'm afraid that house business compels me elsewhere, so I must take my leave of you, Lieutenant. But let me make something clear. Marcus Thule attempted to murder the head of our house. He will not be pardoned for his crime. Sorry about that. I tried to calm him down, but to Palos, you're just a stranger buddying up with the guy who tried to kill his family. Palos has a right to seek justice for his family. Yeah? I'd want to put Marcus down, too, if he came after my family like he did the old Duke. I've been watching Marcus since you left. I don't think he's made a sound or moved a centimeter. Still, I'm sure he's been looking forward to your next visit. I'll be out here if you need anything. You've returned. I trust everything was as I described. I have now proven the accuracy of my knowledge, as well as my intentions. Before I share any more intelligence on Gearbox, you must rescue my wife and daughter. Nobody gets rescued until I know what Gearbox is up to with Project B. I have stated the price of further intelligence. Until you rescue my wife and daughter, we have nothing further to discuss. What am I supposed to do? Bring them here? Absolutely. I must see firsthand that they are unharmed. My wife and daughter can be found at our family manor. I'll provide you with the coordinates. They must not be recognized while traveling with you. You'll need to acquire disguises of some kind. 
I'll dress them both up in matching slave girl dancer outfits. No problem. I think you may find more success using disguises that actually disguise their features. My family and I have a code word for situations such as this. Speaking it will prove that you are acting on my behalf. Tyroven, remember the word well. I'll not have you harming Altana or Valen to gain their cooperation when you could simply speak a word. Those are their names? Correct. Altana is my wife, and Valen, my daughter. If you fail to deliver Altana and Valen to me alive and well, I will never tell you anything. Never. Now go. We will only speak further when I see my wife and daughter safely before me. So I guess that's it then. Nothing for it but to rescue the wife and daughter, huh? At this point, there's no other choice, Captain. Well, probably worse things in the galaxy than rescuing noble ladies, even if they are thools. I've, I've got you some cloaks here, sir. To disguise the ladies, I mean. It's going to be tough getting to those ladies. There's bound to be loads of guards, Imperial and Thule, in every direction. Thanks for the heads up, Captain. Anytime. Good luck, Lieutenant. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Those forces are advancing, Lieutenant. You will hold that outpost, no excuses. Crescent out. Havoc squad here? I can't believe my luck. Major Crescent, 1st Organa Regiment. I'm in charge of holding this area against the usurper who calls himself King Ulgo. I'll do whatever I can to aid House Organa's cause. Good. I'm in desperate need of your assistance. All my forces are committed to holding back Ulgo's army. But an important mission has just come up. I need volunteers to invade an enemy stronghold and rescue one of my people. I can't help unless you tell me everything, Major. It's my daughter, Andra. She's been captured. 
Against my express wishes, she infiltrated the Ulgos posing as a lowly servant girl. She thinks she's some kind of hero. A reckless little fool. Your daughter is a very brave young woman. Brave? It's lunacy. She has no training. That's why she got caught. Two days ago, Andra transmitted an emergency alert. Ulgo jammed the frequency before she could reveal any information. I feared the worst. Until my scouts picked up a distress call earlier today. It's a signal from Andra. She's alive. Havoc Squad will extract your daughter in one piece, Major. I'll owe you a soldier's debt if you fulfill that promise. I've already lost Andra's mother and brothers to this war. If you save her, this recklessness must end. She won't listen to me. But you might convince her to abandon her foolishness. I'll reward you for that favor. One mission objective at a time, Major. Yes, of course. Andra's signal came from the estate of House Wrist, not far from here. That filth Ulgo must have turned my daughter over to the Wrist assassins for torture. Are Wrist and Ulgo allies? They support Ulgo's claim to the throne. In return, he pays them to do his dirty work. Assassinations, torture, sabotage. Please get Andra away from those filthy killers. Good luck.
That's far enough. One more step and the girl dies. Oh, you're in trouble now. Told you I had powerful friends. Colonel, is Battle Group Echo ready to level this place from orbit? The fleet's standing by. Weapons armed. See? You people are done. Roll over and die already. I don't care who you are. You invaded the sovereign territory of House Wrist and murdered its people. Release your captive, and you can live. I don't bargain with scum. Congratulations, idiot. You're about to die. Not before I end your life. Guards! <laughs> Sorry about all the nonsense before. I had to keep that flunky off guard. Nice bit of rescuing, by the way. Don't worry. You're safe. Yes, I know. Shall we move on? Glad to see Father got my signal. Escaping by myself would have been a bother. You gave your father quite a scare. <laughs> Not the first time. Won't be the last. Can't be helped. Here, take this. 
Give it to my father immediately. No time to explain. He'll understand. I'll find my own way out. My cover with Olgo may be blown, but I can still be useful inside House Thule. Next time, try not to get captured. I'd better go. That chaos you caused won't cover my escape forever. Want to fight for the whole galaxy? The Republic could use you. Sorry, soldier. Got my own war to win. Thanks again for the assist. Get that data pad to my father on the double. Lives are at stake.
Stay back. Who are you? What do you want from us? Is this what real Organa soldiers look like, Mum? How fierce. Stay behind me, daughter. I won't let you be taken from me. We won't hurt you. You charge into our home, weapons drawn, and expect us to believe that you mean no harm. Why have you come here? What are you going to do to us? Your husband wanted me to get you out of here. He even gave me the password. Tyrovan. Tyrovan? The code word. Marcus, he's still alive. We have to go to him, Mum. We have to. But... but how will we make the journey? We'll be spotted traveling with this soldier, marked as traitors to House Thul, to the Empire. I... I want to see your father again as much as you do, dearest, but we must think these things through. Wear these cloaks. They should hide your identities. Well, I... I suppose, if we have no other choice. I'll keep you safe, ma'am. You have my word. Very reassuring. Don't mope, Mum. This is going to be so exciting. Let's go. You truly don't care if we die, do you? You truly don't care if we die, do you?
Fight on! hostile. Trying to get us killed, cretin! So you made it back. Andra sent me a disheartening communication. Some nonsense about spying on Hal Stool. Stubborn girl escapes one disaster and rushes off to another. Andra said this contains vital intelligence. You should have a look. She mentioned you were bringing a data pad. Let's see it. I recognize these coordinates. And that date. Blast, Olgo. How is he always a step ahead of us? You need to stay calm. Unless you help me, House Organa's mission here is doomed. Listen carefully. An armored column is coming to reinforce our position. King Ulgo has learned of our plans. He hired receptors to destroy the armored column before it arrives. Tell your armored column to turn back. I can't. They're moving through enemy territory on calm silence. By the time I can reach them, it will be too late. The receptor set up camp in some nearby caverns next to a bridge. They'll demolish the bridge as the armored column crosses it. We'll lose everything unless you destroy the saboteur camp immediately. I can do this in my sleep. Maybe I will. The saboteurs will be well armed and dug in. Be careful.
You saved House Organa's mission here. If I had a medal, I'd pin it right on you. Havoc Squad travels light, sir. Armor, weapons, and ammo are all we need. You've shown my men what a real soldier looks like. One thing's certain, we can't afford another incident like this. It's time to implement new security protocols. If only Andra were here. Thank you again for all you've done. Goodbye. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, hello there, ladies. Uh, welcome to the detention center. Where's Marcus? You're holding him prisoner in this horrid place, aren't you? I insist that you take me to him at once. Um, Lieutenant, what's the call here? You think it's safe to let him in? I'll take responsibility if anything happens, Captain. All right. Take the ladies on in. Cell's open. Let's move along. I want to bring this nightmarish journey to a close. Don't be such a crank, Mum. Enjoy the adventure. We're going to see Father. Yes, the only thing that brings me comfort in our impending doom. Let's find out what these beasts have done to my Marcus. Marcus! Tha was so happy to see you. Altana, Valen. I'm sorry to have put you through all of this. Was your journey a safe one? Are you injured? We are uninjured, husband. This beast you sent for us was more savage than those we encountered along the way. It really was the most exciting adventure of our lives, father. Thank you. Your wife and daughter are safe, Marcus. Now it's your turn. You have carried out your end of the agreement. With Altana and Valen safe, I can tell you everything you wish to know. Marcus! Our house is no longer ours, dear. It is a puppet, and nothing more. The two of you are my only concern now. Listen closely, soldier. Gearbox is working inside a highly secure bunker, hidden in the mountains. A direct assault is impossible. The bunker's force fields are impenetrable. But, if you raid the generator facility that powers it, you should be able to shut the defenses down. Give me the details. The generator's facility powers all of the bunker's outer defenses. It's well hidden, but I can provide you with its exact coordinates. As for Gearbox himself, I cannot offer any further information. His Project B was kept a secret even from House Thule's highest nobleman. However, he promised that Project B would single-handedly turn the tide of the conflict. Whatever it is, Project B is dangerous. I'm here for Gearbox, not his work. But if Project B is a weapon, Gearbox may attempt to use it against you. I thought you should be warned. Our arrangement is concluded. If you'll excuse us, I'd like to spend some time alone with my family now. Sargana's given us their full support. For a world that isn't sure about the Republic, I'll be sure to pass that along. Vehicle pads are currently open for business.
vehicle pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Why help the Panteers? They left. The minute the Republic disagreed with them, they up and seceded. The Panteers ruled Alderaan for the past century. If they're still alive, no one takes the throne without their blessing. Ah, I was hoping you'd make your way here. Major Crescent told me of your actions at the bridge. How long were you listening? Are you aware of the situation with House Panteer? Former ruling family. We need their support. Anything new? After the last Pantia Queen's death, Boris Olgo invaded, slaughtered the entire bloodline. Until a few days ago, we believed he'd wiped them out. However, we have new intelligence that some of the Pantia survived and are in the mountains. So that's good news, right? Except that Boris Olgo knows it too, and he is massing strike teams to finish what he started. And the Republic wants us to risk our lives to stop them. The Republic must stand against genocide, Captain Skov. But the troops I sent never returned, and our reinforcements won't be here in time. Consider me your reinforcements. The Olgos will be staging their move into the mountains for the assault by Theranta. To track down the strike teams, look for their transports. Good luck. Every move we make, Olgo's got forces there waiting for us. I don't understand it. I do. Take a look at the formation sent from High Command. Anything look familiar? I'll contact Command for new orders. Looks like we're fighting ourselves out here.
Thank you for taking on those strike teams. I think that's the last of them. There aren't many who'd take on such a dangerous mission on short notice. Republic owes you, but not half as much as House Spentier. Has Boris Algo called off his attack? The attack is off, for now. But no one on Alderaan is safe while Boris Algo holds the throne. I've received word from Kate Pantier, the heir to the house. She'd like to meet with you. House Pantier's current location is well guarded and not common knowledge. But the brass is granting you temporary clearance to visit. I'll talk to her. Thank you. The Pantiers owe us, you, their lives now. It's crucial this goodwill lasts long enough to get a Republic government on the throne. Still sucking up, even after they turn their backs on the Republic in its darkest hour. Politicians are like planets. They orbit around whatever glows the brightest. But that's the game here. If we don't learn to win it, the Empire will. Thank you for your service. hostile.
Notice to all personnel. Warning. Unscheduled main generator shutdown sequence initiated. Repeat. Main generator shutdown sequence initiated. If main generator shutdown sequence has been initiated in error, proceed immediately to generator command to abort the sequence. All personnel in the facility will have heard that command, Lieutenant. We should anticipate heavy reinforcements. Warning. Main generator reactivation requires three-week overhaul to be carried out by trained Imperial Power Bureau officials only. Generator functionality will cease unless shutdown sequence is aborted before completion. Engaging hostile. Notice to all personnel. Main generator shutdown sequence completed successfully. All generator function has been terminated. That is all. Give it up, Gearbox. It's over. Over? No, no. We're just getting started here, kid. And who's that nice young lady you've got with you there, huh? I don't think I've had the pleasure. Just back off, Gearbox. Listen to me, young lady. Never go around with a man who won't introduce you. It means you ain't important to him. The Lieutenant simply knows that I have no interest in conversing with traitors to the Republic. Well, honey, judging by your accent and the company you're keeping, I'd say that's something of a double standard. So welcome to my humble little research bunker. Have you had a pleasant stay so far? Jet Carden and Fuse already surrendered. Now it's your turn. Yeah, I'm sure the Emperor himself will be calling soon to talk terms. Give me a break. I gotta hand it to you, I didn't think anybody could breach this place, but here you are. Still, you aren't real Havoc Squad material. See, a real Havoc trooper would never have strolled right into a trap like this one. Havoc Squad, this place. Right away, sir. Welcome to the future of war, kid. Hope you're ready to make history because you're gonna be this baby's first confirmed kill.
Now is the time. The longer that Tick is on the throne, the deeper he digs into Alderaan's veins. I don't disagree, it's... Our savior. I am truly honored to welcome you to House Pantir. I am Princess Kate, the closest excuse for an heir we have after that monster Ugo's work. It's an honor and a pleasure. I need your help. Pull my family's butcher off our throne, and I will throw my support behind the Republic's choice of ruler. As I was telling Commander Bridell, conventional force won't win this. Boris Olga's army is a match for the Organas, and what remains of our Queen's Guard. The only chance is for a small force to enter our estates and take the usurper on. I'll take him down, as long as it's a good Republic man who replaces him. If you get Boris Olgo off the throne, I don't care if you replace him with a Wookiee. Boris Olgo's barricaded himself inside the throne room with his most elite guards. Kill him. As long as he lives, he's a threat. That is not necessary. The man served the Republic for 20 years. Capture him, and he'll receive a fair trial off-world. The world will learn of his crimes, and know he was judged fairly. Thank you. If you are to face him, you are the only one who can make that choice. But do not trust him to yield the throne alive. This is the private access code for our house's inner sanctum. For what you've done, for what you will do. We must trust you with it. Use it to wrest that dog from our throne. And House Pantier will be forever grateful. Sir, I was only following the lieutenant's orders. Cooperating with our allies, isn't that the drill? Captain, you have converted our prison into a hotel for enemy nobles. I already told you. The lieutenant had to rescue the ladies to get Marcus to start talking. That's all this is, sir. Is this guy giving you trouble, Cormac? Lieutenant. Sir, you're back. You're just in time. Ah, the lieutenant, no doubt returning from yet another daring and influential operation on my family's behalf and without our knowledge. Would you be so kind as to explain to me why there are three Thule nobles here insisting that they have a bargain with you? I made a deal with Marcus to get the information I needed. How dare you make arrangements with House Organa's prisoners without our permission? Indeed, without our very knowledge! I don't suppose you'd care to share the details of this illicit arrangement that you've conceived, Lieutenant? This man and his family have cooperated in full with Republic forces. They are free to go. This is an outrage. You promised amnesty for the very man who tried to murder our honored Duke? This was not your decision to make. You have overstepped your meaningless authority for the last time. If you aren't happy, take it up with General Garza. Why, that's a splendid suggestion. Thank you ever so much. Your commanding officer will hear of what you've done. Good day to you all. Lieutenant, I... I am surprised. You've risked everything for the sake of my family. Thank you. I just did my job. I think you've done far more than your job here today. Well, sir, I guess that about wraps things up for you here. Let me just say that it's been a real honor working with you, Lieutenant. A real honor. I couldn't have done it without you, Cormac. Ah, it was nothing, really. Glad I could help. Hope we meet again, sir. Good luck out there.
engaging hostile. So, I wondered who would be the first to try for this seat. I didn't expect an off-worlder. Who sent you? The Organas? Those broken fools, the Panteers? What's your stake in this? Alderaan will not fall. To the Empire or to you. Has the Republic forgotten? I won the Battle of Rordak by personally boarding Moff Scepter's battlecruiser. What did the Panteers ever do except abandon the Republic when the Senate faced a tough decision? 
The Pantier's folly has allowed the Thules to return. If I had not stepped forward, the Empire would have Alderaan. If you'd come to us, the Republic would have supported you. The Republic's too in love with those twittering Organas. They could never stand against the Empire. You have no right to judge me. This is my world, and I'll die before I see it in someone else's hands. To arms, men! Defend the throne! For Alderaan! Thank <laughs> you. 
you're making a mistake. I'm the only one with the strength to defend Alderaan against the Empire. No one will judge you except by the evidence of your actions. And when Alderaan falls to the Empire, and our people are sold into slavery, who will judge me then? Lock him in restraints. There's a transport outside. Congratulations. Not many people can say they brought down a king. Commander Bradell will want to thank you himself. Report. I hope you've got a strong holding cell on the ship. Oh yes. I'm sure Boris Olgo was not one to go quietly. You've done more than the combined might of the Empire and Republic could. Freed the throne from Boris Olgo. But it will still be a fierce battle to keep the Empire from consuming this world. The people of Alderaan will rally around us. Alderaan has not faced true war in many generations. I cannot hold you here any longer. Thank you for your service. Alderaan is one step closer to freedom because of you. Lieutenant, this is General Garza. Report. What is the status of your mission on Alderaan? Everything's taken care of. I'm pleased to hear that, Lieutenant. Congratulations. And what of Gearbox? What is his current status? Gearbox refused to surrender. I had to kill him. Understood. If you had no choice, then you had no choice. Now regarding your secondary objective, assisting House Organa wherever possible. A very angry young man named Palace claims that you caused House Organa a great deal of trouble. Please elaborate. Palos didn't like me cutting deals with his prisoner. Yes, he made that much quite clear. You got gearboxes ordered. Your success is undisputed. But our allies are critical to the war effort. You will be more diplomatic in the future. Understood? This won't happen again, sir. I promise. I would appreciate that very much. With Gearbox eliminated, you have officially dealt with every Havoc Trader outpost we are aware of. But as you know, our task is not yet complete. You should return immediately to Special Forces Command on Coruscant. It's time we finish this. I'll return to base immediately, General. I'll see you soon, Lieutenant. Garza out. So we've had a breakthrough. The Ambassador has been spotted. He's staying in a suite at the Star Cluster Casino on Narshada. If I move quickly, I can take him before he's relocated. Sounds like a plan, Forex. For the Republic! Sir, I am pleased to report that the mission was a complete success. Though the Ambassador had 15 armed guards in his casino suite, I managed to storm through them all. Grab the lying fool, and leap out through the window. Sounds like you really took them by surprise. Very much so, sir. The enemy never had a chance. Having timed my assault perfectly, the Ambassador and I landed on a passing Ugnaught salvage scow after a mere 130 meter fall. Once I had made my apologies to the proprietors of the scow, I turned my prisoner over to the SIS, and the toll of liberty rang out across the galaxy. Wasn't the Ambassador at least injured by that fall? He suffered only minor injuries. Fifteen fractures, some lacerations and abrasions, and a ruptured spleen. 
Nothing Bacta and a skilled surgical droid can't fix. Now that the Ambassador's influence won't be spewing across the galaxy, I suspect we'll see a marked improvement in Republic morale. The only problem now will be selecting an even more impressive target. Welcome, Lieutenant. Stand at ease. Make yourself comfortable. We have a great deal to discuss. Before we begin, I want to congratulate you on everything you've achieved thus far. You've completed missions and defeated enemies that few other soldiers could ever contend with. I'm glad I could make a difference. You've certainly done that, and you aren't even finished. The time has come to end this, to deal with your former squad mate's treachery once and for all. We've made a critical breakthrough in the search for Tavis. A decisive opportunity has presented itself. Are you ready to end this, Lieutenant? I'm always ready. Good. We've intercepted a signal, broadcast to Taris, Narshida, Tatooine, and Alderaan. The signal contained a message from Tavis, calling for all of his surviving followers to pull out and rendezvous in Imperial space. Do we have the coordinates for the rendezvous? Yes. They were included in the signal. I suspect the Empire is losing its patience with Tavis. Every operation the Havoc traders were involved in has now been completely obliterated. Your missions have been very costly for the Empire. I think Tavis is trying to regroup before the Imperials cut him off completely. If Tavis is pulling back, this will be a good time to make a move. Exactly what I was thinking, Lieutenant. I want you to infiltrate Tavis's rendezvous. You'll proceed to the coordinates in the message and slip in amongst the surviving traders to board his vessel. What's the plan once I'm aboard, sir? Once on board, your first objective will be disabling the ship's hyperdrive. Next comes your ultimate objective, Tavis. Locate and neutralize him with extreme prejudice, Lieutenant. Tavis won't escape us this time, General. You don't need me to tell you the kind of odds you'll be facing out there. This is no ordinary mission. This is a Havoc mission, a mission no other unit could ever accomplish. Is Havoc Squad prepared to do what no one else can, Lieutenant? Havoc Squad is willing and able, General. Here, get yourself and your people the best loadouts you can, then head for the rendezvous coordinates. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. The Republic is counting on you, so get out there and do us proud. Dismissed. Good day, Lieutenant. Welcome aboard the Justice. Need to run a few questions by you before you head on into the crew area. Go right ahead, Lieutenant. Which planet were you posted on, Lieutenant? Who did you serve with? I was stuck bowing to noblemen on Alderaan. Gearbox was running the show. Oh, yeah? Some of the other guys were telling me Gearbox put together his own assault walker. Really advanced stuff. Is it true? I saw the thing with my own eyes, Lieutenant. I'll bet it was pretty impressive. Too bad the prototype couldn't be salvaged, huh? Wouldn't mind riding into battle on one of those babies. So what about this other rumor I keep hearing? That a single Republic soldier came in and broke up the entire operation. Is that really true? The guy was a killing machine. I still have nightmares. Sounds pretty serious, but hey, you made it. We're in the clear now. Hey, uh, I won't hold you up any longer, Lieutenant. Go on and head for the crew area. I bet you could use some rest after what you've been through. See you around.
Hello, Lieutenant. I was hoping we'd bump into each other. Me too. You're caught. You failed. This battle isn't won yet. Wrong. Time to die. On your feet. Lieutenant, it seems that no matter how hard I try, I can't have any kind of gathering without you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You were a member of Havoc, just like the rest of us. I suppose you belong here in some twisted way. It's over, Tavis. Surrender. I think we're past that, Lieutenant. Don't you? You should be thanking me, really. I imagine that killing all my comrades, my closest friends, has been good for your career. Carden and Fuse surrendered. They're alive and well. Carden? And Fuse? Hmm. That... That's good. But that hardly makes up for the rest, Lieutenant. Nothing can absolve what you've done. In the end, I'm glad you've come. I'm glad you intercepted the signal, and glad you butchered the last of my loyal soldiers. I'm glad you're here, Lieutenant. I'm glad I get to kill you myself. It doesn't have to end like this. It can only end like this. It's time, Lieutenant. Let's finish this. For the Republic! Come on, then.
Taking the shot. This is it, isn't it? This is all I have to show for everything I've done. Everything I tried to achieve. Keep them in your sights. Go ahead, Tavis. Give me an excuse to put you down for good. I... You... What, what have I done? They're dead. They agreed with me. They, they followed me. They died because of me. Everyone who followed you died for it. And for what? We accomplished nothing. Nothing. Don't... don't kill me, Lieutenant. I... I can help you. I... I've learned things. Intel about the Empire. Bring me in. Take me to Garza. Let me... let me undo some of the damage. I'm going to bring you in alive, and you're going to be court-martialed. Trial? What's the point? Traitors are executed. You might as well just... just shoot me now. You have to face the consequences of your actions. No. It's better to die here. To die on my feet, to die fighting. This ends here, Lieutenant. This ends now. Negative on hostiles. It's all clear, General. At ease, Lieutenant. You've done a truly remarkable job. Congratulations. I'm just glad it's over, sir. As are we all, Lieutenant. Harren Tave is dead. I honestly had to come just to see it for myself. He was one of the best soldiers to ever serve under my command. It's a very great shame that he chose to end his career this way. You had no way to predict this, General. If only I could have. So much time, so many resources, just to stop a man who was supposed to be on our side. I congratulated you earlier, Lieutenant, but I think it bears repeating. You've accomplished something remarkable today. Tavis and his followers knew every aspect of our organization. They could have torn the Republic military apart piece by piece, but they never got the chance. Thanks to you. I never would have pulled it off without Sergeant Jorgen. Thanks, Lieutenant. I'm glad I got the chance to help you hunt those traitors down. We'll be staying to search the ship for intelligence while the hyperdrive is reactivated, but there's no need for you to remain as well. I'd say you've earned some leave, Lieutenant. Take some time off, then return to my office on Coruscant when you're ready to discuss a new assignment for Havoc Squad. May I ask what you have in mind for us, sir? That will all come later. Don't worry. Now, go out and enjoy yourself a bit, Lieutenant. And congratulations yet again on completing one of the most difficult assignments in Spec Force's history. You're too kind, General. If I am, you're the first person to think so. Enjoy yourself, Lieutenant. Dismissed. <laughs>